87 degrees Fahrenheit, more than likely probably maybe 85 or so. And then we're dealing with 3,379 miles on the odometer on September 12th, on Thursday, 2024, about 4.53 in the p.m. And we're headed off to delivery, so welcome to the Please Subscribe Show, so happy. And if you support this kind of stuff and you like people to go out there and express themselves with an iPhone 11 and talk about cool things, like yesterday I was listening to the Shins, they're a band that started off in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They made bass in Portland, Oregon. They kind of went to Portland, Oregon for a while. And uh, they have a really, really good song called New Slang that goes... And, you know, you support that kind of stuff. Lynn and I like to play music, too. Uh, we do have a PayPal. And uh, you, know, you don't even have to do that. You can just subscribe and watch, you know, the, the show and see what happens. Interesting things. I try to get interesting things like butterflies on the wall. About to pass this butterfly right here. See the butterfly? Isn't that nice? And then I have a cat. Um, Edmund... Well, he's, you know, he's at, he's at our place, but I also have this cat that I call Critters. He's uh, playing a joke right now with his eye. Come on, Critters. Stop doing that. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, you know, just watch the show. That's the best thing you can do, you know. If you want to support an independent artist or, or support Linda and I and on, on our quest with the, the Please Subscribe show, then, you know, you just give the PayPal. You don't have to give a lot, you know, whatever. Just buy some coffee, whatever you want to do, you know. We'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, we're off to delivery. If you know the type of flower or tree, leave a comment. This is Name That Tree. All right, 6.45 arrival, 10 minutes, 3.6 miles. All right, this September, they're doing Million Dollar Quartet. It's got Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, he's a rockabilly king, and also uh, Johnny Cash, the man in black. I saw some of it on Instagram. It looks really, really good. They all share each other's songs, so they'll all, like, sing each other's songs and stuff like that. So they'll all sing, like, an Elvis song, or they'll all sing a Carl Perkins song and things like that, I'm pretty sure. I think the one I saw, they were all singing an Elvis song. And then uh, October, uh, Casa Mignogna is going to do Cinderella. A great theater. Here's a really great place to like take dance lessons or if you're interested in acting and have classes. Arts Fifth Avenue, as they call it in Fort Worth. Um, one of the ladies there is uh, Gracie Toon, which is the brother of Tommy Toon, the king of Broadway. It's a pretty cool little place. Do they have comedy mats right there? Ooh, tragedy. greenhouse right over there. There's a garden coming up right here. They have like a neighborhood garden. Let's walk around. It's a community garden. Fairmont Community Garden. Cool. Cool two little places right in this little area. Off Fifth and Allen. Wow, they're from Pennsylvania.
what it looks like at the moment. This way is just the regular traffic. Dollar fifty golf oysters. Sorry, I'm gonna try that again. A dollar fifty golf oysters every Sunday all day. You got a dollar fifty and go to the flying fish, get yourself an oyster. All day on Sunday. That says flying right here. That's obscured, but it says fish. It does say fish, I promise. Seven twenty-eight, four minutes, one point four miles. Looks like we got a wing stop over. You do want to have big mirrors like that, so you can see perfectly. Kind of like a cat looks out both sides of its eyes. You know, you can see very well. Peripheral vision, as they say. It's big mirrors. There's an estate sale, 4009 West 6th Street, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 9 to 4 p.m. Eight oh one ten six point five.
asked me to take a moment to write in my journal. They must not know that I'm driving on a highway. It's this app called Journal. It's really cool. I used it for a while. It's a good one just to kind of plug into. Yep, got a clear alert. Coming out of San Antonio. It's a white Enfi SUV, San Antonio, Texas. Looks like Texas place ends in 3153. Clear alert. It basically means it's, it's kind of like an amber alert. Amber's like everything from like birth to I think the age of 18 or under. And then clear alerts from like 18 to 65. And then a silver alert is over 65. And then they've got a few other alerts too, like a blue alert, a camo alert. dog was barking and she said do you want a dog and I said I have a cat it's a good um, deterrent for, for a dog I mean you know if someone asks you if they want if you want the dog you just say you have a cat it's a it's a good way to dismiss the dog you know so you don't have to take the dog it's funny if she's Never mind, I don't want to get into that. Another way. And I had another joke that I was going to try to say. I mean, I was going to... It'd be funny if she offered... Would you like a hot dog? I mean, yeah, I'm giving her a pizza. Well, I mean, I could... Uh, I, I've got cat food. I don't know. I don't think that's the joke. Anyway, no, she was, she was literally like, do you, want, do you want my dog? And I was like, no, I have a cat. Their dog was just barking. I just the hot dog thing just came to mind. Anyway, feel a little peckish. I guess in Springfield that joke probably would have been funnier, or not, maybe serious, possibly possibly cause tears, create sadness. It's a beautiful sight for worth. Uh, the Springfield jokes are going to be going on for a long time. Every time you hear a dog bark or you see a cat, good time for jokes about Springfield, Ohio, I guess, is what I read today on Google. That's going to go in the, the, the textbooks, the history books. You know, these debate stuff. You know, they're, you know, bringing back, the you know, talking about dogs and cats in debates, especially presidential debates, it does have an effect. There was a checkered dog speech that Nixon used. You know, he made people feel bad. Or he made them feel sympathy by talking about checkered the dog. Um, but the whole Springfield, Ohio thing, you know, and Haitians and things like that, uh, I don't know. It will go in the textbooks, probably, unfortunately. That was the highlight of the debate, believe it or not, or the most talked about thing was Springfield, Ohio, and the rumor. I don't know. I, most people are probably finding it as comical, um, and then others that are pet lovers, which most of us are, or the thought of it is, is horrific. I mean, you know, you got to put it this way, you know. Trump was an entertainer, you know. He was in the he was in the little rascals, and they asked for it, you know. But uh, that one I I didn't get. I didn't get it until the recap. I, when I heard it, I just it went way over my head. And then I heard they they re, they talk about it. Do you know what he actually was talking about in Springfield, Ohio? It, it just it just went by so quickly. A quick trip has hot dogs.
way from Louisiana, but we're in Fort Worth. And they're all the way from Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -I -S -S -I -I. And they're doing art and war and the at the, in the Renaissance at the Kibble Art Museum. All right, next one will be 8.56 arrival, two minutes, 0.6 miles. Alright, next one's 913, one minute, 0.8 miles. And it looks like we're doing a delivery for Conlon's Irish Pub. Happy birthday, Carla. Irish Pub birthday. <laughs> 